guys welcome back to my channel today's episode I'm going to teach you how to plant red bell peppers of rich Guan. these bell peppers is very huge it's like a uh, apple size and I'm going to teach you from sowing and then how to transplant it properly I am amazed with this uh, rich one red jet bell pepper because uh, I watched the agribusiness of Sir Buddy and I was inspired by Sir Michael Caballes. That's why immediately I ordered it online. These bell peppers is very good, very sweet and very nice but the price is very high. So that's why I choose a repack or 100 pieces for 800 pesos. So that's why I immediately buy it at Lazada or Shopee so I cannot remember where it is but so it, this one is very uh, good bell pepper it is sweet and nice it has a four lobes okay it's it very big so we will have to first prepare the basic materials okay we will use uh, organic materials which is coco choir so, so we're gonna make it uh, sure that this bell pepper will grow as nice as easy so this is the red jet rj f1 i bought it 800 pesos for about 100 pieces of seeds seedlings may grow best when the coco choir is old and juice already Feel the seedling tray as nice as it is. Make sure that this cold wire is already sterilized and it will boil 10 minutes boiling. After filling the cold wire, we will put the seeds of this one, RJ and probably you have to select few and don't forget to put it nice and gently just dig a hole just enough and not so shallow and not so deep so just enough to grow the seeds after two days just repeat it and this process is quite long but once they grow it gives satisfaction make sure you have to observe proper distance for about two inches approximately and not more than four inches When buying repack seeds, it's quite risky because sometimes there are old and old stocks, and sometimes it won't grow. So better you have to choose or select sellers. That's why you have to read backgrounds and feedbacks on them on how they repack, on how they take care of the seeds before clicking it or before purchasing it. The original price of this Rizwan Red Jet is for about 5,000 pesos. Yes, it is very expensive, so that's why I take risks to buy a repack seeds. So, well, it goes well, it grows well, and there's no problem. Alright, we are done. Once they have done, you will water it nice and gently. Just remember, they don't want too much water. They just want enough moisture for them to grow nice. Seeds will grow faster and better once they receive enough sunlight. So, put them on sunlight area or nursery area. After 20 days, we will transplant the seedlings of bell pepper, uh, red jet of rich one. It is very ready and 
the seedlings are very healthy so that's why this is the right time this is the red jet seedlings it is very healthy it is very good it is right just for transplant the color is dark green that indicates that these seedlings is very healthy Let's prepare new stocks of coco choir from, we brought it from Laguna, uh, probably it is 130 pesos for each sack, so it is red and nice, so just don't be scared but just follow this process and it will be able to you to produce a set of bell peppers healthy and strong. This time we use polyethylene black bag from uh, online. We bought it online, probably 10 pesos each. But if you bought it at harvest, it will be able to uh, much cheaper. Start putting all the coco quires in the polyethylene black bag. This is the seedling bag, but this is the bigger uh, size. This is quite cheaper than those bucket systems available in the market. Um, I choose this one because large, large farms around Europe and US they choose to have this one, and they also use coco choir or coco peat because it is very cheaper and easy to access. There you go, the seedlings is very healthy, so just uh, dig a hole and put the seedlings just right and then press okay, at the center so that the seedlings will stand still. You have to do this in the morning or late in the afternoon so that the seedlings won't be able to be stressed and the seedlings will recover and probably there are few or chances to they won't be able to make it so that's why you have to transfer it in the afternoon or in the morning So after transplanted guys, uh, this is the bell pepper. It looks nice and healthy. So they will stay here for about two days and three days. And then once they get ready, we will probably set up the drip irrigation system there at the center of this greenhouse. And then probably, yes, the challenge is when how to propagate this one and how to grow these bell peppers as nice, as easy, as uh, productive as it is so we will probably do the nutrients or the nutrition of this one so first off we will have to balance the NPK and then once they ready to propagate they 
have uh, we will increase the potassium as what they tell us to do so hopefully we can pull it nice and easy so guys thanks for watching okay so this is the first episode and we will have to transfer it with a drip I was going to plan that uh, it has a drip irrigation system and then I will probably choose whether it is a uh, plastic or probably a uh, metal okay, drain so I have to plan it so so that it will have to grow the bell pepper nice as it is so thanks for watching guys stay tuned and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you